Good morning, everybody. This is Kara Jones with Presenter Media, and today we're talking Chrome, or more specifically, what happens when you click on a link in Chrome and it keeps opening instead of saving to your computer. What do I mean by that? In the background, I have our Presenter Media website open, and don't worry, guys, I tested this out a little bit this morning. Uh, if you open up a file, or rather you click on a link and then you click on the file to download it, Sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes you may notice that you don't get a little cute little download option. It just opens the file in a viewer. Then you open the viewer and you're like, wait a minute, wow, what do I do? I need I want I want to save this. I want to save this whole thing. How do I how do I where's my where's my video? How do I save this? I don't know I don't know how. So what is happening right now is Chrome is using the settings that are going to allow you to preview any kind of item. So this is not just the video backs, this is not just the clip art images, this is anything, really, that you're able to open from our website or even other websites. So you just click on a link and it opens it. You can use edit and create, try to find out where you're saving this file. We're gonna put it in a folder. If you're like me, instead of having to go through all these steps, you would really rather just have the file download and then you're done. So, to get to that, all we have to do is in Chrome, we get to our settings. To get to your settings, you just go ahead and click on the three little drop down, and you go down to settings. Third from the bottom, right there. Then click on advanced and downloads. You'll notice that the download section at the very top has a default location for anything would save to. And then you have ask where each file saves before downloading. Open certain file types before downloading. That is the option that we want to go and get it to be cleared. So we just click on clear. And now by default, when we click on something, instead of automatically opening it, it's going to give us that beautiful little download option at the bottom. And remember, you can always click the up arrow and always open this file type. So that's if you do just want to preview it. Let's say you do watch a lot of the video backgrounds instead of downloading them. Or you can click on show and folder. Show and folder is great because it can actually show you where everything is downloading to. And not only that, but you can be able to make sure that if you did download something one, two, three times, whoops, you can have access to everything that did get downloaded to that location. So this is just a great way for uh, you as a user to be able to have more control over what it is that you're downloading. That's it, folks. Thanks so much for watching for today's tutorial. This is Kara Jones with Presenter Media. If you like watching tutorials like this, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you would like to be able to download all the content on the Presenter Media website, for only $59.95 a year. That's not even a cup of coffee a month if you go to one of the fancy places. You can get unlimited PowerPoint templates, animations, including custom text where you get to change everything, customizable clip art images, video backgrounds, including custom videos, a new slide clip video maker, and more unlimited downloads all year long. Come on, join the fun. Leave a comment below if you have any questions. I'd be happy to answer them for you. And as always, folks, this is Kara Jones with Presenter Media. Let's make great presentations.